The city of Boston is well known for its rich history and the role it played in the formation of the United States. People come from all over to the city's historic sites to be immersed in the life and culture of colonial New England during its fight for independence. One attraction is the printing office of Eads and Gill, located near the Paul Revere statue on the Freedom Trail. Eads and Gill has a real printing press from the colonial era on display. They perform demonstrations on how it works and talk about how printing was used to rally the revolution. Unfortunately, the machinery is delicate, and visitors can only watch the process from afar. Printing is a hands-on occupation, with arranging the type and operating the press. The audience's understanding of printing can't be complete without tactile interaction. While allowing them to touch a real press isn't possible, this exhibition will add a much-needed level of interactivity to the experience. It will also educate them about a notable type designer from the era, John Baskerville. John Baskerville was a businessman, printer, and type designer who worked in Birmingham, England in the 18th century. He was originally trained as an engraver, but went into bookmaking at the age of 44. He was unhappy with the typefaces popular at the time, so he decided to make his own. It took him three years to complete his first project, a book of Virgil's poetry, published in 1757. His typefaces were too delicate for the technologies of the time, so he invented new formulas for ink and invested in the creation of smoother paper to make it happen. Baskerville's work was well received, and he was hired by the University of Cambridge as their official printer a year after his Virgil book was released. Jealous competitors caused his typefaces to become unpopular later on, but in the 1920s they were revived and are still widely used today. Baskerville was a member of the Royal Society of Arts, which Benjamin Franklin was also a member of. The two were good friends. Franklin was so impressed by Baskerville's typefaces, he brought them back to America and used them for much of the early United States official printing. William Caslon's typefaces, which were popular before Baskerville arrived, are classified as old-style typefaces. Baskerville's work is classified as transitional. The biggest difference between old-style and transitional is the stroke contrast. The difference between the thick and thin strokes on Baskerville is more extreme than on Caslon. Baskerville also has more delicate serifs. Another difference is the stroke axis. If you draw a line between the thinnest points of a rounded letter such as an O in Caslon, it will be at a tilt. With Baskerville, it is almost perfectly straight up and down. So why use Eads and Gill as the location for this installation? The time period they are presenting is contemporary to when Baskerville was working. They are located on the Freedom Trail, meaning that visitors are already expecting to learn about history from that era. Also, the printing press presentation given inside primes visitors to be thinking about type in a way they normally aren't. If a visitor arrives at a time when the printing press is closed, the installation gives them an opportunity to learn about type without seeing the presentation. This is a mock-up of the installation. It is an interactive plaque with two movable metal portions on hinges. Viewers would be able to open and close it to examine it from all angles. Here is an animation of how the installation would move. The outside of the metal portion would have an extruded metal type which visitors can feel in order to experience a part of the printing press through touch. The inside has a biography about John Baskerville as well as a metal type version on the opposite plate. By opening and closing the installation, viewers can see how the metal type lines up with the printed final result, both with the biography on the inside and the type samples on the outside. The installation would be made of two metal plates, hinges, and laminated paper. Thank you.